Hey guys. Okay, so I have something pretty exciting to share with you all. Um, as you guys know that from time to time, I do like to do reviews on products and stuff like that. I know that I've been doing a lot lately, and I just did a tutorial on this using actually the products I'm about to show you. Um, or the brushes that I'm about to show you. So, um, I'm going to post that very soon, and I've got a ton of makeup tutorials coming up, I promise. So, anyways, I had to share this with you guys, some of the most common questions that I get are about brushes. Which ones would you recommend? You know, some people can't afford MAC. And, you know, the thing is, is that I don't buy MAC brushes because they're MAC brushes or anything. I just buy them because they're very, very good quality and they're my favorite. Um, however, if I could find a MAC comparable brush at a gas station for 25 cents, I'd be all over those. You know, I mean, it's not um, the fact that I'm buying them just because they're MAC or anything. Um, but it is very, very hard to find comparable brushes for affordable prices, as you guys know, I'm sure. So anyways, um, I was introduced to the Sigma Makeup line. Um, they right now on their site have brushes and stuff, like professional quality, very nice, um, not comparable makeup brushes. And recently I've been talking with the owner of the company. She is so sweet. Um, you know, all of these brushes and everything that they have, you know, aren't just wholesale, you know, shipped in from somewhere and, you know, plopped on the website and, you know, these are the brushes we make, you know. She really puts a lot of work and effort into them. Um, you know, everything is approved by her. The quality is outstanding. Um, I'm very impressed. So, anyways, the website is sigmamakeup.com, and I received the complete makeup brush kit and the brush roll, which is a really good brush roll. If you guys know, it's kind of, you know, you can get brush rolls all the, you know, anywhere that are kind of cheap or whatever, but this is a really good one, and, um, it's nice because it really holds a lot. It kind of, you know, is able to expand and stuff, and it's very soft, and love it. I've got all the brushes taken out. I know that I probably should have them in this brush roll or whatever, but, you know, you get the gist. It's a brush roll. And it says, um, Sigma USA on it. Now, in this kit, you get 12 eye and face brushes, which is insane. And, um, if you think, okay, 12 brushes that are comparable to MAC, not even comparable to MAC, but that are, um, pretty darn close for $79. That includes this. Now you think that's a lot of money. If you divide that, that's like five or six dollars a brush, um, which is absolutely insane. And that includes the brush roll too. If you don't want the brush roll and you just want the brushes, it's $64. You can do the math. Now on the website, you don't have to get just that kit. You can get different sets at different prices and stuff like that. You know, things that um, meet your needs or that you need or whatever. So when I received it, I've got to tell you guys a little bit about the packaging. Um, everything was super secure. Everything was packaged really nicely. I should have totally left it in the packaging so you guys could kind of get a better idea. Um, it was in uh, really nice bags. It was packaged like a lot of care had gone into it, um, which I think is kind of important. I like to open up a box and see that someone's, you know, packed it by hand and put as much effort into it as I would have if I was sending something to a friend or sending to somebody. I got a free sample of this e.l.f. Brightening Eye Color in Drama, which um, I haven't busted open yet, but I have a feeling I'm going to love this since I like smoky eyes and stuff. And then this is the kit I got. Um, I guess she has brochures for each one of her kits that come, which I think is totally cool. Um, it says Sigma Makeup, Sigma Essential Brush Kit face and eyes. And it kind of gives you an overview of all the brushes. Um, if you see the website, this is kind of what the website looks like um, as far as the layout and stuff and the colors and how it's written. Next to every brush, it has like how to use it. So when you get this, if you're kind of unsure about what to use them for, um, you know, it's spelled out for you. And then there's a little card about um, caring for your brushes too. First, the SS187. Okay, 187, 187, you get it? I hate to like start off with this one and be like, it's fabulous, it's better, blah. But um, honestly, this is better than my MAC 187 brush. It's a little bit more dense. It holds up, like, it's very, very durable. I used it for blush today. It's just so soft. It's like, it's a lot softer than my 187. Now you can see how the handles look. Um, they're printed. They're very, very good quality. Handles, the everything. Next is the SS150. I've used it, so it's kind of dirty. But, um... You can see it's comparable to the MAC 150. The MAC 150 is a little bit smaller. Um, this one's a little fuller. 
And if you are familiar with matte brushes, you know that, you know, that feeling that these darker brushes have, you know, it's just kind of, kind of like a velvety or like silky, soft feeling on the bristles. So my husband's probably totally going to kill me for telling this story. He's going to be so embarrassed. But, um, anyways, he's totally one of those guys that is just not into make, I mean, obviously he just kind of, um, doesn't really pay attention much to the makeup. You know, I mean, he loves that I do it, and he, he likes makeup and stuff, but he's not one of those guys that really knows what everything is, and he doesn't really get into looking at it, and he, you know, he'll just be like, you yeah, know, that's cool, or, yeah. Um, today he comes in here, and I'm looking at all these, and, you know, I'm just really excited, and I was like, oh, you just don't understand this. These are so cool, and he's just like, oh, okay, yeah. And, um, I was like, no, no, look, look, look. I, you know, I showed him that this was, like, so much cheaper. And then I told him how much the 150 was. And, um, and I took him and I went like that. And he was like, oh, yeah, I totally feel the difference. But it's really funny. This one is so much softer. The Sigma brush is so much softer. And I know that you're not going to believe me until you try it and see. I just absolutely love the way that it feels. Um, this is an excellent brush. Alright, another face brush in the kit is the SS-168. Look familiar? Uh, this is amazing. It's it's a 168 brush by MAC, and I don't even want to say that because I know this is her company, and you know, it's, you know, it's different. But, I mean, she is comparing them to MAC brushes. So, um, it's amazingly soft. This is, like, the softest, like, goat hair brush I think I've ever felt. Um, I don't know how she got them so soft because even MAC brushes aren't all this soft. And then the SS 190. This 190 has a little bit more of a synthetic feel than the MAC 190, uh, but it is very dense and stiff, so I'm, I love that because um, you can kind of see it's not as springy as the 190, or, as, you know, it's it's more like hard, so it's going to really press the foundation, and I really love that. As for the eye brushes, I have used them all, and um, this is the SS239. It is similar to the 239. Obviously, it's not those goat hair, goat hair bristles. Um, it's a little bit wider. It works really, really well. It packs on color well. It's very, very soft. A lot of times, brushes that are made out of this are kind of um, spiky and hard. This one is, like, very, very soft. Um, also, the SS194. This is more of a concealer brush, but you can totally use this um, on your eyes, you know, in, like, small areas or whatever. Um, the... SS252. Now this is a MAC 252 brush, so this 252 I would say is more comparable to the MAC 242. It's kind of right in between. It's shaped more like a 252, but it's a little smaller. Um, that being said, it's not as scratchy as the MAC 242 and 252. I, those are my two favorite eye brushes by MAC though, so I can't really knock those. Um, but this is amazing. It's very, very good. Then the SS275. I hate the MAC 275. It's a little full for me. This one's perfect because it reminds me of the 272 by MAC, which is, um, I just washed mine so it's kind of funky, um, which is the white goat hair one. But mine is a little too thick right here to do much with. So I kind of have to use that under certain circumstances. This one's tapered kind of into a point. So I used this today for the darker shade on my lid and absolutely loved it. So very good brush. The SS219, you can see that I've used that one too today. And this is larger than my 219 by MAC. You can see the 219 by MAC is um, very kind of pointed and a little more sparse. This one is um, very dense and a little more rounded, which I absolutely love for the crease and getting like darker colors in. So this is amazing. I love this brush. Then the SS266, which this is a little smaller than the MAC 266, a little um, sharper. It uh, has a little more of a synthetic feel, but that, I think, is better for doing um, liner, like liquid liner. But what I really love this brush for is eyebrows, and um, I use this on my eyebrows today, and this is my new favorite eyebrow brush. Then, um, this is a 209, which you could use this for, uh, like, a lip brush. I think that's what I'm going to use this for. It's kind of pointed, so you could really be precise. Um, my very favorite eye brush, though, out of the whole kit is the SS224. Alright, so this is my MAC 224, and this is the Sigma 224. You can see that the Sigma one is a lot smaller, um, a little more dense. It's made out of the same exact material, I mean, same exact fibers. Um, 
Now you can see that this one is going to offer more control because it's smaller. So I actually very, very much prefer this one to the 224. This one's great for blending and stuff, but I think for my crease and stuff, this is really, really nice, especially if you have smaller eyes. Now if you couldn't get your hands on the MAC 226, which is this one that has the pointed tip, this would be a good alternative. Now you're not going to get that pointed, precise tip, but you will um, get that you know, kind of more control. You're not going to have such a precise application, but you'll have a little more control. So I absolutely love this one. And last but not least, she also sent me their um, Kabuki brush that she compares to the MAC 182. I have looked long and hard for a Kabuki brush that's similar to the MAC 182, and really it just cannot be duplicated. Um, you can see that the handle is really long and it kind of fans out. This one, when you look at it, really looks nothing like it to me. Now when I used it, I used it with my mineralized uh, press, the mineralized skin finish natural for foundation today. It feels exactly like my 182 so even though it doesn't look like it, the bristles, and I'm very picky about brush bristles, um, fibers and stuff, how they feel. This feels just like my 182. It applies just as beautifully and um, it's very, very, very excellent quality. So, um, if you are on a budget and um, you do need some brushes, if you're not on a budget and need brushes, I mean, these are amazing brushes. Yeah, you might think that $64 or $79 if you want the um, brush roll as well is a lot of money. Um, I think I forgot to say this is $16, the Kabuki brush. Um, compare that to like $48 or however much this one is. I mean, hello, that's insane. When you kind of average it out and really you know, think about all that. Like I said, it's about five or six dollars a brush, and to me, that's insane for these brushes. Um, I am absolutely blown away by the quality. These are my new babies. They're my new favorites. And like I said, the owner is a total sweetheart. She really, really takes pride in her business and in this um, company and in her brushes and her products and stuff like that. Um, so it's definitely a good place to um, buy from. And I do know that she has got some really, really cool things coming up. Um, some new products and stuff like that that you guys are going to be all over. So um, definitely follow that website, sigmamakeup.com. I will put a link in the sidebar. So thank you guys so much for watching, and I'll talk to you all very soon. Bye.